very important that we reestablish a championship culture. We need to make sure that we move forward. Now at noon on the defensive, 49ers cleaning house, sacking their head coach and general manager after a dismal season. How the CEO is remaining steadfast in his reasoning. Good afternoon. It is Monday, January 2nd. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. Jed York once again facing tough questions about the team's past, its future, and his role in controlling it. KPIX 5 reporter Jackie Ward is live at Levi's Stadium where he just met with the media. Jackie? Hi there, and he started off the whole press conference by apologizing to the fans for such a terrible season. He was very frank in his delivery and said that once again, the team has to start new. 49ers CEO Jed York knows he has haters out there. When asked about whether he should be removed from his position. I own this football team. You don't dismiss owners. And he recognized that this isn't unfamiliar territory to Niners fans. I apologize for a 2-14 and season. I apologize for being back here again and making a change, but I think it's very important that we reestablish a championship culture. Former GM Trent Baalke was with the team for 12 years and built the team that went to the Super Bowl in 2012, while Chip Kelly was the head coach for only a single season. Fans are speaking out and saying the wrong guy got fired. I think he's a great coach. You know, it's not like anything that's happened this season is remotely Chip Kelly's fault. Um, I think the problem lays with Jed York. Looks like time for a new general manager and a new head coach and a little bit throwback to the old years of the uh, championship 49ers. York agrees with the latter part of that statement and says he wants to start rebuilding his organization in a smart way that may take some time, but that will eventually make the 49ers a Super Bowl caliber team once again. We caught up with Senator Daniel Kilgore after the press conference and he told us what he would change about the team. Uh, the culture. Get some guys in here, you know, you know bring it every day, uh, a professional approach every day, and uh, a winning attitude. The 49ers is the only team in NFL history to fire its coaches in back-to-back -back seasons, and this is not the first time that they've done it. They did it before in 1976 and 77. From Levi Stadium, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. Well, Jackie, did Jed York lay out any kind of timetable as to when he wants to fill these two positions by? No, he didn't get into those details. He says he really wants to focus on the right fit for the team. He's not worrying about any sort of deadlines for himself, and he doesn't know whether he'll hire the GM or the coach first. Back to you. Jackie, thank you. More